in here. That, yeah, that makes sense in my head. Zelda, Zelda seems like she does okay I mean, against Ness. Yeah, Zero Two Nine is a really good player who's just been getting so much better in Westchester. Every time I see them, they're always getting like crazy upsets on like Noku, on Crit and everything like that. Bobo, Gatsby at times. I mean, hey, it's what happens when you don't travel, right? When you don't go to a different events, you play those same players at the same events every single week. And that's your entirety of your practice. So not only are you improving in the game, but you're also improving at those player matchups. And so you're going to start to see more upsets from them within those local communities. Yeah, but okay, we're diving right into the set right now. Zero to none, looking to shut out Amaryllis, but so far... The SDI dude is crazy for yeah. zero to none right now. They have been racking up that combo damage like it's nothing. These ABKs putting in that work, trying to find the connection to the backer as well. And see, shutting down the Phantom, the main option that zero to none wants to go for, but you're just not able to use your neutral tool in question. And the, I, I love these pokes from Amaryllis, Oops. finding pressure left, right, and center, forcing out the air dodge there with a the neutral air. They're putting you in that checkmate because either you don't and you get hit or you get back aired and that's all she wrote. That's Oops. what we were talking about earlier, right? With that afterburner kick, finding a way down into the blind spot to find the whiff punish on Phantom. Most people don't realize that there's, when you fully charge that Phantom, right, there is that blind spot right in front of her Oops. that can, she can cover you le seven days of Sunday. There's nowhere left to go, but that time, we're not going to see the displacement on the Phantom from ZTN, and that's going to allow out a little bit more in theory. You cheater! You literally got the bats within uh, and took Zero to None off the top. Well, that yeah, uh, is I mean, that's, it, it's in the name, right? Zero but to hey, None, Zero to Death, so, right? That's the same thing. Hey, but we are also cheating out here. We got the Lightning Kicks going to show Kevin those Skechers as well as those good old Twinkle Toes. Just trying to find a starter here. Zero to none, maybe down a stock, but I've definitely Which one of them are wearing Skechers? Hold on. Hey, yo, it's the Twinkle Toes, the light up shoes, baby, the lightning kicks. What? Oh, I, I, nah, no. Okay. The, the heels versus the Skechers? They both are wearing heels. I don't know what you're talking about. I see no chonkos here. Okay. Literally look under her dress. They're right there. You I can can't see look. Them. I can't look, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm looking away respectfully. I, Amaryllis, they're getting called out, starting to lean a little bit on these witch times. I'm trying to find any opening, does so with that dive kick, but not able to find its mark. The single hit neutral are not, not going to be enough, Snivy. The, the, we're seeing Ooh. ZTN's platform positioning really force Amaryllis into some awkward jump commitments, but they're still try finding hits. They're just not finding those significant ones anymore. ZTN has really locked down the pace of this game off their positioning and is finding a way back into what... We might have fought an impossible set to come back from. Yeah, Zero Two None is one of those players who has generally like a slow start to sets and everything, but they slowly get their data. Oh no. Oh yeah, still not hanging around. Stay around for a little while longer. Amarilla still looking to get it, trying to go for the common hawk grab maybe, but nope. Still waiting around, just threatening that space, looking to pull that trigger with the up tilt, but we're still getting the back here. And that and that ABK there was so smart. Right? Just the random, hey, I'm going to flip around, I'm going to flip around, I'm going to flip around. Finally, then, right, just linear burst option and covering an awkward angle and can finally convert into a stock. We hadn't seen a single grab all game from Amaryllis until that last one, right, to, for that forward throw to take it. A beautiful way to conserve your resources and only use the mix-ups you need. Only use the tools in your toolbox that you need in order to win. Even if, even if they're your best kill options, who cares? You don't need them. Keep them in the tank for later. Don't let your opponent respect them. Don't let them develop a well-rounded game plan against you. And keep the keep keep that ace up your sleeve for when you need it most. And I see that Amaryllis is throwing all those cards on the table right now. Just walked up and straight up threw zero two none off the stage, getting that forty one percent. Was looking so good. And ooh, he's hitting the spot dodge real quick. Just got a style on him. The bop, one, bop, bop, two, to the top. On the one, two, three. Oots, and you're gone. And uh, I'm going to just say it. Zero to none, not DI'ing that one, right? You can survive that combo there at that angle, I believe. But uh, DI'ing it up. So uh, there's there's no living that there. They're good DI out of that afterburner kick, though, to not find the extension. But Amaryllis is just finding such great pressure and able to save these double jumps, like find these extra width twists out of dodge to then reset the situation at a distance that Zelda being so immobile just can't cover. 
Yeah, it's, oh man, this is so tricky for Serotonin, honestly, because Emeril's, like you are saying before, is just so good. That was, getting... what the heck? He used the win box, not, right? We, I was talking about it before. Not only is there a blind spot on Phantom, there's also a spot where you won't fight next to the blind spot where you'll not miss it entirely, but you'll only get hit by the win box. Emeril has used it in the air to recover. 3, I've never IQ. seen that. Literally 3,000 IQ. But yeah, like I was saying before, Zero Two Nine really needs to find the answer to kind of just shut down Amaryllis's pressure. Just these phantoms, they have been kind of becoming a pretty big commitment. Like once he throws them out, Amaryllis is already up in Zero Two Nine, just witch twisting, ABKing across the stage. I guess my question though is, what do you have, Zelda? Like up tilt maybe, but like what buttons do you have to contest a character that can just move around you in the way Bayo can? Where not only is her movement just not only does it outclass you, but her movement is entirely surrounded by active hitboxes. Yeah, and it's so hard to match on this character too. Like, Bayonetta, when you're in shield, you just give up that turn, and she is just staggering the jabs and everything. She's crossing up with very safe aerials. It's so dangerous. And ooh, getting put in the trap, that which pressure, twisted out. That pressure was insane. But now at 212, right, you're oh, just man. a little too high percent to actually like get linked into these kill confirms for Bayo. She has to line up a raw backer. And once she has to slow down that pace of play, hey, oh my god, you can theoretically keep her out and get a lot more damage, but ZTN not able to hold it down. And now having a there we go. Three, having three stocks to find here back against the wall facing elimination. Snivy, it is looking grim. It is definitely looking grim for Zero Two None right now. Emeralds having those immaculate three stonks right now. Zero Two None popping them a bit on the head, trying to get any turn started, but no. Emeralds still looking so dominant right now. Oh. No Tech City looking to end it off the backer, but nope, no punish. We're still looking for the chase. Um, the Ooh. single Vita into the up tilt, trying to find the backer there to close it out, but Emeralds not able to find the turnaround, and so going to give. ZTN, one more opportunity. Still a lot of work to do here if you're Princess Zelda, but you're not out of the and you're not out of the woods yet, Snivy, but you are very capable of doing yeah, this. Yeah, now I like that Zeratuna. It might be a little too late. Just implementing those dash attacks on Amaryllis' run up. See, nothing's happening right now. Amaryl Zero Two Nun's doing a phenomenal job keeping Emeralds out, but giving up that jump, giving up that space. There's that air dodge, looking for the trap that, as well, but get out! That, bro, that preemptive teleport was so smart. Just throwing out the hitbox a little early. Unfortunately, that lightning kick, though, not safe. You're gonna get tossed up, a good DI to get out of dodge. Still trying to find these raw lightning kicks. You have to swing, but it's only a one-frame hitbox. It's Oops. not active for at all, and when you miss it, you're getting hard punished. You're getting put in bad spots, and... A player as disciplined as Amaryllis is gonna make you pay. I'm just gonna say it though, with the red Bayo, right? There's the two Bayo effects colors, the red ones and the blue ones. The red one's looking a little bit like Gloom, so Bayo may